Our next guest is a Hollywood legend. Richard Dreyfuss is an Oscar, Golden Globe and BAFTA award winner. He's best known for classics like Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind and American Graffiti. Now he's back with a star-studded new Western. That's a 20-footer. 25. He starred in some of the greatest movies of all time. Richard Dreyfuss is one of the world's most successful actors, with more than 120 roles across a career spanning seven decades. What did you say? Someone wants me. Someone roaming the streets. He won an Academy Award in 1978 for The Goodbye Girl, at the time the youngest ever performer to win Best Actor. I thought you said you were decent. I am decent. I also happen to be naked. Now Richard is back in the thrilling Western mystery, Murder at Yellowstone City. The film is set in the years following the Civil War in a former gold rush boom town. You know, folks came here because they wanted a better life. And for a while, when the mine was running, they had it. And the mine collapsed. It took all the gold and half the men with it. When a local prospector discovers gold and is murdered, the hunt is on to find the culprit in a place full of outcasts. A necessary end will come when, when it, it will come. come. <laughs> Put it down! Richard stars alongside a big ensemble cast, including Gabriel Byrne and Thomas Jane. Richard! No more killing. Ain't be fitting a man of God. And uh, Richard joins us now from San Diego. Welcome to Sunrise. Geez, Western movies are making a huge comeback, aren't they? Or well, you got Yellowstone on TV in 1883. Why did you want to be a cowboy? Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to be a cowboy. I wanted to be in a Western. Right. And especially a Western whose who's, um, hidden theme was about how America offered a second chance. And it was the first uh, country ever to do that. And so I wanted to tell that part of the story. So after acting in 120 odd movies um, and getting your first role when you were nine, what's it, what's it like still being on a movie set? Do you still get a thrill from it? Well, my wife insists that it's the only place that she sees me being happy. <laughs> and whether that's true or not, I am very much at home on a, on a set. And uh, I haven't done, let's clear something up. I haven't done 120 anything. I have done about 60 films, I guess. And the first 10 years of my career which was when I was 10 to, let's say, 21, 22, I, I was apprenticing. I was purposefully doing television, basically anything I could get to teach me whatever I could learn by being in front of a camera. And uh, I didn't start doing features until I was about 26 years old. Mm. Uh but since then, an incredible career. You've worked with everyone from Steven Spielberg and George Lucas to Ron Howard and Gabriel Byrne. Of the big names, um, who have you enjoyed working with the most? I worked with Audrey Hepburn oh. in, her last, in her last scene, in her last film. And that was, in fact, the greatest experience I've ever had. Wow, what was she like? Tell us about her. She was as elegant as you can possibly imagine. And she happened to play God. <laughs> so it was just, it was perfect. It was oh. just perfect. How fitty is that? Yeah. And also Jaws. Um, uh, that was a phenomenon, still is today, but you initially turned down the movie. Yeah, I turned down the movie twice, actually, um, 
because I told Steven Spielberg that I was lazy and I knew this was going to be a lot of hard work. And uh, that was the reason I turned it down. And then I happened to see uh, a film I had done right a year earlier called The Apprenticeship of Diddy Kravitz. And I was convinced that if anyone in America saw that film, I would never work again. <laughs> so I called Stephen and I begged him for the part. <laughs> <laughs> what a good decision. Yeah, yeah. seems to have worked out OK, Richard. So uh, yes. good move there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations on this new one. It's fantastic. We're looking forward to everyone seeing it. Thanks a lot. Now, Murder at Yellowstone City is having a premiere screening in Melbourne on the 29th of June before it's released on digital and DVD on the 6th of July. For more details, head to sunrise.com.au.